Oh, gosh, yo. Nice fish. Yo. I watched him eat that meal. Yeah, but he came up sideways. See how slow he took it? You know, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's such a slow style of fishing. I think Ron's going to keep that x pop in his hand for a while. Put him here. Look at that. Just came up and just ran. But I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to let you in a little bit of secret. This is what is going to be coming today. Fog's rolled in, so we're going to hang around this area. It's going to be a blast. I hope this happens all day long. Nice fish. Thank you very much. Oh my, get him! Send the hook, he's on. Oh, yeah! Another 20. Nice. <laughs> Ontario Toyota Dealers presents Fish TV. It's time to Toyota. With your hosts, Leo Stakos, Ron James, and Jeff Chisholm. Brought to you by Ontario Power Generation, powering Ontario's future. Rapala, crafted from experience. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. And Fram, designed by experts, trusted by drivers. find out buddy jump oh a nice fish man that's a beauty to get her going fella <laughs> oh that didn't take long no it didn't man i'm telling you what the first thing in the morning i saw this flat water here the drag Stay set on. there good yeah oh yeah okay here we go there we go <laughs> oh nice four pounder at least what a giant look at this buddy wow the weight of that. i'll tell you what guys we are on beautiful balsam lake here in the core of the lakes and when you get a flat calm day here in the fall you go running to balsam lake here in the core of the lakes what a way to start i'm leo stackles i'm ron james and we are going to have an absolutely blast today oh you are so far <laughs> there's nobody in the water look around it's flat calm we're on a beautiful weed line first day of fall yep 9 30. at 9 30 first day of fall never put your boat away <sighs> especially if you got a lunch <laughs> <laughs> nice job man Look at the size of this guy, bud. Look at the snail that injuries. there is what we're after today. These big bronze backs. Yeah. And just a light, it was just a light little tick, tick, right along that weed edge. Sweet. And that's the way we start us off. See you later, buddy. Oh, right back into the weeds, bud. Yes, buddy. All right. Let's get back over to that weed edge. Nice little small jig like that. Just yeah. works perfect, eh? Whoa. There we go. There's another one. Another one? Another duke, bud. Another I duke. Haven't tied up yet, bud. Look at this. Oh. Another giant? Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on, bud. <laughs> now I got my oh, man. proper bait on. Look at this. All right. Look at this guy, bud. You're on fire, dude. Anybody with him, though, bud? Oh, look at the size of him, bud. There he comes. There he comes. There we go. Oh, there's another <laughs> duke. <laughs> what are you on fire, oh, bud? This is great. Nice, bud. Just eating that little jig. Beautiful. Buddy, look at the side. This fish has been eating. I'll tell you what, guys. Wow. This one here <laughs> is right along that edge, and you can tell by the gut here, they're just chowing down. Winter's quality, coming. Quality, quality fish here, right on that weed edge. And just a small jig. They're not really on fire. There's nothing boiling around the area. Normally, smallmouth, you want some activity. You want to see bait fish. You want to see busting fish. But not this case. This case, we're getting giants, and Rod's already tying one on. So oh, yeah. I'm going to release it over here in the weeds. Good quality fish. Sweet. See you later. Come on, buddy. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's what I felt the last time. And then I said, oh, come on. You let it go. That's what I felt the last time. Tick, tick. And then, boom. oh, my God, look at that. And there's another one right beside it. Three of them. Four of them. Dude, oh, he's off. He's off. Look at it. Four, just drop right there. There was four of them. There you go. Oh, that's a good fish. No. Okay, there you go. There you, go. you know what? I wasn't even paying attention. I know, but... you had your head down. <laughs> but I just heard the splash, and yeah. that's when you got them anyway. <laughs> I know. Nice. There you go. Oh! Yeah. Nobody with them again, though, eh? A nice yes, fish. Is. Oh, yeah, there's a yes, good one. Is. Three of them, bud. Get in there, quick, quick, quick. Get up, get there, get right in there. Shh, don't move. Just leave right it there. there. Leave it there, bud. Okay, see the three of them right it. behind? Look it. at the size yeah. of the one behind it. I know. Oh my gosh, bud, I hope he bites. Look at the size of it. Just sit still. 
Look at the size of it, bud. I know, I know. Yeah, he's gone. Wow, that fish behind it, folks, that thing had to be six pounds. I think that there fish is, right is gone. There. Where? It's right by your fish. Oh, yeah, there he is, there he is. Okay. Grab my bait, Ron. Grab my bait. He doesn't like that one. Oh, man, come on. Grab mine, grab mine. I know, just hang on. He's gonna go away. Yeah, I know. I want you to catch that one, Ron. I know. I'll release some line and see if he'll come back. That other one. Yeah. Oh, and he's off. He's off. Well, you know what? It's a lot of fun, folks. Yeah. <laughs> it was worthwhile letting that fish swim around like that because we didn't get the fish in, but we, we know it was about a three pounder, three and a half pounds. Oh, but yeah. there was like one behind it that was about six pounds. And that is exciting. So. You did not want the color I threw up. Yeah, that looks like a nice fish. Oh, oh nice fish, nice. Scotty. <laughs> He's off. I'm going to throw that fight. Oh, my gosh. Another Duke. Yeah. OK. <laughs> now I got to try something else. I'm going to keep throwing this because I want to go for the bigger ones. Nice, bud. There you go. You get them off. I'll get them in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> look at this one kind of shaking. Oh, look at this. See, he's got fish. Yeah, I got a fish, buddy. Jerk bait. Nice one, too. Yeah. Oh, that's a good Wow, boy, I get the net for yeah, this I'm one, buddy. <laughs> nice. I don't want this guy to jump because he's just barely hooked. There you go. Oh, come on, Ron. What are you talking about? You get him up. I'll get him in the There we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Swiped at it. Yep. Hang on. So you Perfect. tell me to take off my jerk bait, I take it off. <laughs> I can't buy a fish today, man. Has anybody got any for sale out there? Uh, I would love to buy one off you folks. Nice fish, look at that. Just a loner. Balsam Lake has got a, a number of different lodges all throughout the uh, the lake there. Go, in fact, you can go all the way to Cobacon. You know, this particular case, we've got a lodge right in front of us here. There's one over by Rosedale. You've got the launch there, but fish are all around it. Oh. That's the best part about it. So if you want to come out here, book yourself a room in one of the lodges. This is what you can expect here in Balsam Lake here in the core of the lakes. Can I expect one soon? There you go. You mind if I expect one soon? Right. Yes, sir, do it. I'm trying, bud. <laughs> it's now time for the Ontario Toyota Dealers Tackle Box. Okay, guys, let's take a minute of the action to show you exactly what we're catching our fish on today. Anyway, let me rephrase that. What Leo's catching his fish on today. This is a local 110 13 fishing jerk bait. Great bait for searching out these smallmouth. They love to follow it. Now, we're throwing that on a seven foot one omen rod. Really good rod to get a lot of twitch out of it. Most of the fish, again, that Leo caught, was on the X-Pop. This lure right here is absolutely dynamite. The way you work it here is unbelievable. You just really jerk it once, pause it, let it sit, let it sit. It is the most monotonous way to fish, but you see it catches big fish. We're throwing this on a six foot seven medium action Omen rod with this Creed GT reel, 20 pound suffix 832 braid, and it got a little fluorocarbon leader on the front of it. You bring this stuff up to Balsam Lake in the Kawartha Lakes area, you're gonna catch them just like Leo Stacco says. Let's get back to that fish TV action. Look at this, look at this. Oh. Got him, got him. Look at that. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. That's another nice one. Well, ordinarily, I wouldn't use the net on this fish, but because he came up and swiped at it, he rolled at it. Nope, stay down, stay down. Look at that. Okay. Now. That's the way. <laughs> another one. Another fish that just swiped at it. Oh, hunky fish. These fish are not exactly feeding. They're like, they're coming up. I saw that fish behind you. I swiped it a couple times. Bud. That fish looks like I used to weigh. It's feeding. <laughs> That's true. Wow. Okay, you know what? I don't know what to do anymore. Well, I'm just going to hold the net all day. It's not, it's not, like, they're bite, it's not like they're biting this thing. Oh, no. I see that. These are all healthy, eating fish, guys. Yeah, that's beauty. Can you tell the Balsam Lake is the most favorite lake of mine? You think? In the core of the lakes? Yes. I love Balsam Lake. <laughs> see you later. Six nothing. Seven, nothing. Wow, what a score. Good hockey game, eh, folks? Stick around, you might see a lot more. <laughs> Not from this guy, though. Got him. Oh, nice. Nice. Good one, too, bud. Nice. Nice fish. Real nice fish. 
Beauty. There we go. Nice fish. Oh, nice. nice fish, man. Another one with him? Oh, look at the size of this guy, bud. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. There is another one with it. Oh, there is a giant. Look at it. Hurry up. Right there. Right there. Right there. Come on. Go down for it. Go down for it. Oh, he's trying to, look at this one, trying to shake it. Oh, look at this. All right. Come on, fella. Come on, fella. Nice, buddy. Woo-wee. Peace. Balsam Lake, baby. Look at that. Two giants that run back to back, right behind each other. Oh, I got to tell you guys something. Whoa. We're gonna trip over myself. I'm so Whoa. damn excited. Look at the gut on this fish. That one's eaten. All right, yeah, they, there was two of them. Yeah, I know. They came in. I, I cashed it out. I was just about to switch to a top water. But he's right there. Is he still there? Yeah, he's right there. Okay, shh. He's right there. Who am I kidding? Ron, I'm not gonna catch him. No, I know I won't. <laughs> not my, not today. Not? Balsam Lake drives me crazy. How much fun it is around here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Nice, baby. Yeah. Oh. What do you think, Ronnie? Did you get him? No, he looked twice. Did he? Yeah. And he followed the boat forever. There you go. I haven't missed one today. You actually haven't. That fish has got to go four, four and a quarter pounds. That's a beauty, man. Portions of Fish TV were brought to you by Mercury. Go boldly. Look at this. Look at this. Just sitting there, bud. Came up the first time, Ron, and then came back again. I'm having lunch. <laughs> oh, he's off. Mm -hmm. There we go. No, oh, he's off. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I would turn right now, bud, and yeah, do that box I'm thinking the same thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you got to be kidding. Okay, now there's got to be one with that fish. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's a giant. Oh, no. Look at oh, right on the corner. You got him hook good. You got him hook good. It's not. Yes, he is. Just annihilated a butt. He's on fire. Oh, man. There he's going to come right up beside the boat. There he is. Oh. Ah. Him up. Look at that. One little hook. You are the worst netter in the world, dude. Buddy, you, know? you got to put him up on the surface so I can see him. <laughs> the net's only four feet long. You know that, right? There you go, buddy. I haven't missed one today. You actually haven't. It's the only way I can catch him. <laughs> 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 Look at the size of this fish, guys. Nice. Now, you want to tell me these fish are not eating? That fish has got to go four, four and a quarter pounds. That's a beauty, man. That giant fish. And my ex-pop was just sitting there, famous for Balsam Lake. They just come up and huh. they just annihilate it. There you go. See you later, buddy. The best part about this day is when we're done, we're going to take a drive into either Cobaconk or Rosedale. Maybe check out the patty house grab ourselves a burger, or some wings, and enjoy our night. It's gonna be a fantastic day. I'm yeah. happy that you're catching. I, I, I'm kind of happy myself, to be quite honest. Wow. I mean, the last show we shot, I was that you were putting on a clinic for me. I did learn a couple things. It'd be nice if we could, you and I could- That's never together. gonna happen. That's one That's one funny thing. Yeah. There's never <laughs> a day, actually there were, there were a few times in Mexico, <laughs> but very rarely is there a day when both of us are on fire yeah. But it's nice, it's fun though, because we get to razz each other, we have fun with it. Oh, I'm having That's a good. great time, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I am. <laughs> I'm just glad I haven't missed one with a neck, because I can't catch one with a rod. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. It's now time for the Garmin Force Tip of the Week. Hey folks, Leo Stockwell's here with the Tip of the Week. You know what, it's about that time where the leaves are starting to change, it's getting a little bit chilly out there, and you know what that means? It's time to put the boats away and get our vehicle ready for winter so we can do some ice fishing. But before we do that, one of the first things we do is go out there and change our windshield wipers. In this case, we always look for the new Trico ice, and what this does is make sure we keep safe on the road. It's got a one-piece construction, and it's really rigid, so you don't get that tearing whenever you get that sleet and ice and snow on your windshield, and it fits really tight and snug right against your windshield. So the next time you're getting ready for ice fishing, at this time in the fall, make sure you grab yourself a pair of Trico ice, because that's gonna really help your winter. I don't know, this cloud moving in, is it gonna help us or hurt us? Well, I'm not quite sure it's clouds, Ron. I think it's a combination of clouds and haze. I can tell you one thing. I think once the wind picks it's up- It's not gonna hurt me <laughs> at all. I don't know, I just need a change, man. <laughs> it really oh is. Gosh. Oh, 
You got him still. Yep. <laughs> yeah, That's a better fish. Forever. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, one. man. <laughs> you know why this happened, bud? Because you wanted to leave. I wanted to leave. <laughs> That's right. Every time you say we got to go to a different <laughs> spot, you get one. Right on that sand. Dottie's in 10. I'm in 4. And I could see the, the bank up there. And it's like 3 feet of water right there. You good? Uh, you want a hand? No, nah, I think I'm okay, bud. What I do is I like taking the line so I don't break the, uh, the rod. Just do this. Just fish after fish here on Baltimore Lake, man. For some of us. And they're just, they're just chowing down. Like, look at the guts on these things. Yeah, I know. Like, when they come up, it's weird. Only on this lake do these smallmouth come up really, really slow, and then they just go. On other lakes, you work the top water fast, and they come up and smash it. Not this lake. You don't know when you set the hook if you've got a five-pounder or a one-pounder. He boiled on it. You thought he missed it, and he was swimming around with it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do this baby. Time. Anybody with them now? Nice one, fish, too. Yep. Nice. time, Ronnie. Wake nice, Ronnie. Up. You'll lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the confidence. <laughs> nice fish. It's about time. Nice fish, bud. Okay. Nine to one? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I got to land it first. <laughs> Nine to one, maybe, maybe, maybe. That's maybe, a beauty maybe. fish, bud. I'm here. Oh I'm here. no! I'm here. Wow. Don't lose it. Maybe I had a guy help me. What do you oh. want? You want the net? Too late. Oh, nice, bud. <laughs> That's a beauty okay. fish. All right. The James here is back in action. It's about time. I tell you, folks, is, you know how frustrating it is when you watch your buddy smash them all day long. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting giants, and you finally hook into one. Wow. Why did you have to say that? You know what's going to happen to me now, right? <laughs> no, you'll get them. No, I won't. The boat time. That fish, I lost it. I had them. And then I, I thought, that's it. I got a bite. Well, that's why I didn't believe you. So I, what, what are you bite. doing catching a bite? I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, the jinx is off. I hope you got, so. You anyway. got the stink off your bait. Now get her yeah. going. Oh, Long that fish is. Beautiful. Beautiful clear water, buddy. Killed it! Oh! <laughs> when I wasn't looking. Yep. As soon as you turned around. Yeah. Put me in the salad and everything. <laughs> Look at the mess. You know what the weird thing is? Normally you hear them. I actually heard it. I know. I, th I thought mine boiled. Cause I thought, cause that's normally what's been happening all day. So I, thought, I looked at mine, there was no boil. I looked at yours, you had a big, big boil there. When you least expect it, boom, that's when it happens. Not a big one, but hey, I'll take every one I can get today, folks, let me tell you. <laughs> I got a bite, Leo. Yeah, you didn't even know you got one. No. I, I might as well have got that myself because I'm the one who told you about it. I've done that to you three times today. I know. <laughs> Nice fish, bud. Can I stand around over there to net it for you? Oh my gosh. Oh, what is that? That was a good hit. Yeah, no kidding, bud. I don't think it's a bass, though. What is it? Oh, it's a Ooh, giant it's a, bass, bud. I thought it was a large mouth. It's a cow. It's a big small mouth. <laughs> it's a giant, bud. It's hard, hard bottom in this strand. I knew there'd be something here, Ron. He just exploded on your bait. Wow. Look at this. Look at this thing. Just I thought exploded. that was a pike or something. Well, you, yeah, I thought it was either a large mouth, but when you said I don't they think don't it's, a, it's a bass. They normally don't splash like that. that. That is a beauty fish right there. Wow. You sure you don't want me to get the net, bud? No, it's okay. I got him. I think. Oh, barely hooked now. There we go. I thought that was a pike or a muskie. Every fish that you've been catching just kind of swallows it. Yeah, yeah. And I've caught a couple that just swallow it, and that one just exploded on it. Look at that. Look at how fat that one is, bud. Yeah. They, 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 Holy. Well. Look at that. That's when you know you're fishing the fall when they start packing up this. Look how long that fish is. Beautiful. There you go, girl. There nice you go. Job, right bud. down to the bottom. Just a. Oh, I love that. There, he just. Pumping, look at them. Where do you see this one? Same thing, just a swirl like that. No boil, no splash. Look at this. Crazy, oh, I told you. I'm sitting here watching you and <laughs> mine, mine down. Look at that, just gorgeous in the water. Leo, 
You have no idea how many fish are swimming underneath my bait right now. There's three, <laughs> I swear. Come on, seriously? The Kawartha Lakes is the place to be. Man, this is so much fun. There you go. Ooh, Bill, you're down. As soon as I turn around, bud. I know. You got him. Oh, oh, nice fish, too. It's a nice dark one. I've been throwing this for three hours. <laughs> you I just pick, pick yours it up. up and get a bite. Let's we'll see if I can oh, catch this fish. Powerful, man. Look at it. Huh. I can't get him up. Come on, bud. Look at a nice one. Oh, he's, chom he's chomping down on, on fish, that's for sure. Look at it, like a football. Yeah. All right. Oh. Want to just grab that? Oh, right there, right there. Whoa, oh, look at that. When we got the call to go to Balsam Lake here in the Kawartha Lakes, it took us three seconds to decide, <laughs> let's do it. We looked at the weather. Whenever you get a calm day like this, you got to get out here to Balsam Lake. It is absolutely incredible fishing. For more information, go to our website, fishtv.tv, for more information on the Kawartha Lakes and Balsam Lake. Until next time, I'm Leo Stockos. I'm Rod James. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. They might have to go, but we're not going anywhere until I catch some fish. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Fish TV was brought to you by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience. Mercury, go boldly. And Hill Street Beverages.